Hey everyone, this is Genius Panda, and today we have uh, we have an issue. Let's say you have a picture and you want to put it in your model somehow, not just as vectors, but within a cool like screen or something. Here, when image sampler executed by Dynamo will become very handy. So let's see how it do how it works, and let's dive in. So the main, the main idea is to convert this image that I have here into this object, uh, like perforated object, depending on its brightness. It means that each circle radius is related somehow to the brightness. So when the things, when this zone of the image is dark, I get like a lot of circles with big radiuses. And in contrary, when I have like whites, either no circles or very small circles. Actually, the architecture for this script is really easy. First, I need to import and analyze the photo. Second, I need to create a grid of points that is proportional to the image resolution. Third, I need to be able to insert objects and control their sizes and their insertion depending on the analyze from the first step. And finally, importing the created objects into Revit. And as we can see, I already imported my image through path, file, image from file, watching it, and now I'm analyzing it within the image.pixel node. One thing that you should know, that you should know the resolution or the dimensions of your image. And I recommend editing it to be in whole numbers and numbers that could be divided on 2, 4, 8, whatever because usually you won't be putting like 400 points in the x uh, in the x axis but rather you're gonna put like 40 so you need to be able to do this so creating a grid would be like this First of all, I have to create two sequences, a sequence for the x-axis and the sequence for the y-axis. But before creating points, I need to do some stuff. And this is a bit advanced because the previous version of my image sampler had a lot of objects. So right now what I'm trying to do is limiting the useless points or the, the points where there is whites. So I don't need any objects there. So what I'm going to do through Python, I'm going to create some filters. First, I'm going to combine the three lists of the image analyzed brightness, the y-axis and the x-axis together in sublists, and then I will filter the sublist depending on the brightness value. One thing I didn't mention, that I need the brightness value to be reversed, because usually the brightness values are from 0 to 1, where 0 is the darkest and 1 is the brightest but I need it in reverse because I need to have the, for example, the circle with the largest radius within the darkest area. So I put the node where I put one minus A. So right now I'm doing my combined Python script. As we can see, each list has a three elements. The first is the darkness value, I would say. And then I'm creating other Python nodes to filter first to filter the main list and then to extract the first, the second or the third element of the list. Thank you. 
also one more thing guys uh, in the second entry or actually the third entry for this python node is the tolerance factor because i can just say okay uh, if you're gonna see the code the, the code is simply is an if statement discarding any brightness value less than dimension value in the slider okay i think something uh, was wrong because i cannot see the silhouette of my image so i'm just correcting some nodes yes it does work now putting some tweaks there okay as we can see guys already the circle are, are made <clears throat> but as the values for the brightness are really low you cannot see the circles so what i'm doing right now is putting some mathematical factors that will exaggerate the difference between a circle and another depending on the value so first i did like a multiplication and then a power okay well it's it's actually more or less working now just a few tweaks to make it like good and able so i have many tweaks i can modify the radiuses or maybe the tolerance for, for darkness brightness and somehow i can just like add the add the sampling matrix like make it more complex yeah duplicate it by two i think it's working so far uh, please note that the picture doesn't have to be a uh, black and white but for me I think I prefer black and white pictures because it's it gives me a sense of contrast before doing the script so yes flatten now I'm ready okay run it final run Okay, and there you have it your Revit object in your file ready to be placed wherever you want so let me put some curtain wall but okay actually we do have a problem this object is really hard to manipulate so I think I'll put it in a face based family I'll just open my script run it another time uh, one notice please notice that if it doesn't work for some reason you need to manipulate your your units because sometimes the family tells you that you are not to allowed to put this object within this size so it would be a matter of unit depending on your settings your initial settings for the matrix okay and as we can see guys i have it here okay cool so just give it some scale cool loading it another time yep it works more or less there you have it guys so i hope you enjoyed this one and use it well so that's it for today thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like the video and share it if you like it and watch our other videos and our other series Thank you, see you next time.